All right, you guys are starting uh, a YouTube channel or you're considering starting a YouTube channel, but you don't know what to expect. Data is all over the place. You want to know what somebody's experience is on a small scale. And that's what this video is about. So I want to backtrack. Uh, I started my YouTube channel about three years ago. I made two or three videos and then stopped for a year and a half. Originally, I did not have the intention of continuing to make videos. I just wanted to make a few and post them for the sake of helping someone else find a way to do a specific thing. Flash forward to about a year and a half later, the beginning of COVID started. So I was already spending a lot of time fishing and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna start taking my camera with me and I'm gonna record some fishing videos. I fell in love and uh, I enjoyed chasing the footage as much as the fish. So here we are a year and a half later, three years from the beginning, and I have just reached my first full month of monetization. So I wanted to give you guys a backstory on that and a timeline on what to expect when you're watching this video. A little bit about my channel. I don't have any viral videos. I'd say my best video has about 10,000 views and my worst video has about 200. I'd say the average is probably somewhere around 500 and I average at this point, a year and a half later, after consistently posting a video probably at least every week, I average about 200 views a day. So there's the numbers and we're gonna go into depth on that now. All right, we're gonna jump over to our main page and we're gonna look at the lifetime analytics. So I have about 120,000 views, uh, watch time, 5,500 watch hours, uh, subscribers, 1,300 and estimated revenue for the last 45 days, which is $96. Now that comes out to be about a $2 a day average for my revenue. I wanna jump over to the other tab, which is gonna be my first month of YouTube monetization. Now I did have a video that went somewhat viral. It got almost 11,000 views in two days, and it was a video of whales off of uh, Wrightsville Beach here in, in town. So that does kind of skew my data for the last two weeks but this first month is realistic factual data without any viral videos. So this is November 1st through December 1st, and you can see that my revenue was 50 bucks, and I gained 89 subscribers and 400 watch hours, 7,700 views. Now that's about a normal month for me. And you can tell my peaks were days that I uploaded videos. Now I average about two to 250 a day with YouTube views, so I'm not like breaking the bank with my data, but this is factual. This is for somebody that's new that doesn't have viral videos. That's not really established, but I'm making moves in that direction. Um, now let's talk about what has helped me with my channel. Uh, the key has been consistency. If my people know that I'm going to post a video a week, then they get excited about that and they expect it. Um, also what's helped me a lot is, learning Photoshop so that I can create high quality thumbnails, which engage viewers to watch my channel. Um, now before I did YouTube, Photoshop was not an area of expertise for me, but it's, it's made me learn how to do it and be better at it because that's what engages people to click my videos. I think that's half the battle is having a good thumbnail. Also another thing that's helped my channel, um, and if you're trying to reach monetization and you're saying, well, I don't give views, I, I get 50 views on a video. Um, let's look at your thumbnail first. Let's see what, what's drawing in your viewers. And then secondly, how quality are your videos? Are you using uh, a camera that records in 4K? Are you using 1080p? Are you using a cell phone from 2008? Like what, what, what kind of gear are you using? Also, it's important that you, I mean, you take a lot of the fluff out of the videos. If, if I'm going fishing, I'm spending five hours on the boat on most days. Well, my videos are eight minutes long. So basically what I'm trying to do is tell a story with a highlight reel and you should be doing the same thing. If you're not getting views and your, your uh, average click through rates are horrible, then you need to have a conversation with yourself and figure out what's the reason and what's the root. Is it the quality of the video? Is it the quality of the thumbnails or is it the actual video themselves? Because people watch what they want to see. Also, if you're trying to gain subscribers, uh, you gotta be loyal to your, the people that watch your channel. Don't make videos that are a bunch of junk. You're just gonna run people off. If your percentages are less than 25%, 
And when I say that, I mean, you're, so you have an eight minute video, your average rate is one to two minutes before people turn it off. Then clearly it's a video issue. Uh, a lot of my videos are, well, I'll, I'll confidently say most of my videos, um, let's look at the engagement tab. Yeah. So, and here's a tab with my average view duration. So most, if you take a hundred videos that I have out of all of those 130,000 views, I'm averaging three minutes and 24 seconds per video. Yes, I can improve that, but that's pretty good. And, and it's an indication on why I've reached that level of monetization. You guys can do it. You just have to figure out what it takes to do it and, and figure out what the right tools are to get you to that point. Yeah, so that's the rundown of my channel. I've only been monetized for six weeks at this point. And I wanted to give you guys something factual that you can base your conversation with and get a feel for what you can expect if you're you know halfway there or you're almost there or you're applying for monetization right now um, it helps to have viral videos clearly if you can get a video to pop off in the hundreds of thousands to millions you know you can have a good paycheck from that and also your your viewers go up and another important thing to think about is youtube videos are kind of like compound interest so the more you create the more you post the more opportunity you're going to have to reach people on YouTube. Um, say you're starting a channel tomorrow and, and you don't, you don't know what to expect. Well, the question I would ask myself is, do I have a niche? Is that niche targeted heavily on YouTube? For example, tech videos do the best because we all want to know how to do something and what to expect when this new device comes out. Um, whereas fishing videos, this is what I do. There's a hundred thousand people that record fishing videos. And it, if it's not tailored to someone learning from you, then they're a lot less probable to watch. So that's something to think about. You want to start a channel. You haven't done it yet. Well, you make it teachable. If you can explain something to someone, you're going to do a lot better. Uh, that's my two cents worth. If, if you guys have any questions about anything, shoot me a comment down below. If this video was helpful, uh, shoot me a like. And of course, if you want to watch some fishing videos or see what else I have going on in my life, then jump over and hit the subscribe button. A little bit about me is I sell real estate. The whole intention of, of me starting YouTube was to uh, do this on the side for fun and for me to reach people that also like to fish in my community and hopefully by help them buy and sell property. And so far it's starting to work. Here we are a year and a half later. I uh, sold my first house from YouTube last month. I'm selling another one in two weeks. And I have two other people on a search right now that I've met through fishing. So that was my goal from the start, not to look at this as a way to get rich, but as a way to um, improve my quality of life and record what I already do for fun. So if you have a niche that is very similar and can help you grow your business, do it. There's nothing holding you back and, and there's enough room for new creators to join YouTube and create every day. There's always going to be somebody that's going to be searching content. So make good stuff and people will come back. Thank you guys. Catch you next time.